So this is Tom Seppefeld from uh, Graphilion with a short demonstration of a typical, uh, a typical use case which is uh, process flows which as of course by nature are, uh, are graphs and um, I would like to show you how I just built a quick demo on, uh, on our interactive platform. I have a flow builder button, a shortcut over here and that triggers this button and so now I can enter a name of my flow so it's Tom's flow okay now I have my flow builder window and I configure it and I'm not built because this was all done in Cypher some functionality I can have a float activity and let's make something very simple an intake of a, of a proposal an intake and after that intake there will be an assessment and after the assessment there can be two ha things can happen there can be an approval or it can be rejected <coughs> and after the rejection you may opt for for instance to abandon or to modify modification and when you have modified uh, it you may probably you, you want to go back to assessment so you can connect them okay I'm uh, I built it the wrong way around I can flip the direction um, and uh, in this uh, the way we set it up every process also needs an end note this is the begin note and I have several loose ends over here but I can add a flow stop and they are connected right away uh, there's a lot of red stuff because some logic that we build in tells uh, requires that every um, every node has to have at least except for the end node ex has to have at least one default way out um, and I can say okay add for all the nodes that only have one way out this is of course automatically so I can send it okay these I can set it automatically but this one for instance has two ways out and this one also so but I can uh, set the default and here this would be my default um, so this is uh, this is a basic way of building a flow of course you can have you can have by editing it you can set any properties that you that you uh, that you might want um, how is this done I have my interaction model over here um, okay this is my user with my shortcut this uh, uh, network view in fact it's this uh, this single button and when I create it when I create uh, press it um, it, re uh, it triggers uh, a query and it has it requires a flow name so this is why you had the prompt this is basically the flow model that you get and from here this uh, network viewer which is the really the part where you build the flow there are a number of triggers that are, can be batch triggers that have to do with uh, multiple uh, nodes or context triggers that can be on a relationship or um, uh, or a node and this all uh, this all works together uh, these are Neo4j queries uh, this is a network view there is a, a way to display all the properties which is a cipher plus an HTML view uh, so it was actually it's quite quite simple and once you have done this and I prepared another example um, you can start playing around this is a little bit a slightly different model 
Um, okay, you have an intake and assessment modification. Um, and here the modification is directly to the assessment. Um, and when you go through that flow, every time it's calculated, uh, what could be the next step. So if I here in this item I am in an intake, so the next one is an assessment. And when I go to this, so I have my flow next step, once I click here on the assessment, it recalculates and now I have multiple options. I can uh, go to modify or to reject. So imagine that I want to modify again, I have another assessment, I can have uh, an approval, and then I would like to can go to stop, but I can also rewind the process, for instance, like my f to my first modification or to my intake in the beginning. So I know, so I can handle different instances of the same of the same flow. Basically, this is uh, what you can do. Of course, you can you can add all kinds of statistics over here or make the uh, for instance, counts of processes that are in a specific stage. Um, so there's endless possibilities. Thank you for watching.